Hello, bros. We're back with more books and some alcohol, which I've been treating my poison ivy with, so that's great. Bats. Longman Nature Library. A little hardcover book of bats. I almost believe I have this book. Scott, got you this book so you can better identify those creatures that fly in the night. Please don't bring any inside for me to see. Karen, Christmas 1987. Oh, look, it's got the pictorial cover as well. Bats. I know I got a little, small little copy of a book of bats, but I don't know if it's the same one. Dog bat. Egyptian slit faced bat. Tent building bat. John Osborne Luther. I also picked up this, which was in a different book. Save 10% on every book every day. B. Dalton Book Savers Club. I think I only bought one or two books ever at B. Dalton. They weren't very good. It was a, obviously a mall bookstore. And then it basically carried everything you'd buy if you were a bored suburban housewife. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. All right, my sneezing fits over. John Osborne Luther, the controversial new play by the author of Look Back in Anger. Wonder if that's where the the title of that Oasis song came from. I like the cover art for this. I noticed it was a play. I wasn't particularly excited about that aspect, but you never know. To read it would be somewhat moot since I don't really know anything beyond the cursory history of Luther and his nailing of the proclamation or whatever it was. The first performance of Luther was given at the Theatre Royal Nottingham on June 26, 1961. Great. The Nightmare Club. Join it Join, if you dare. The Initiation by Nick Barron. I've never heard of this series before, but I looked it up, and these books have some value. And also, if you have the free tattoos that are that come with the book, then you have a book that's worth twice as much. As is, it's probably worth 8 to 10 bucks. I paid 50 cents at the one store, which used to be my go-to store, but... For whatever reason, they took... Well, I know the reason, because I heard the district manager talking to the manager and saying, get these gay lords off the floor. And by gay lords, she meant the big troughs that were holding hundreds of books, and they took them away. Well, she did instruct them to put them on the shelves, but they never did so, and they just took them... I think they just took them back to the back room. or Maybe they took them to a different store. I don't know what they did, but they're gone, and now the... Supply at my main store is dwindled, is depleted. I don't really care about children's books, so I'm not going to look and read that. That's up to you. Complained the other day that it's very difficult to find Beauty's Release by Anne Rice writing as A.N. Roquillar. I have several sets of The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty and Beauty's Punishment. I would say at least three sets. Now I have two complete sets. And two where I'm only needing Beauty's release. For whatever reason, that third book is elusive. This is obviously one of those box sets, which probably gives it way more value. I've never seen the box set ever. I've seen it on eBay as I've sold several co several sets of these books, but I've never actually seen it in the wild. Free to Choose Personal Statement by Milton Friedman. To me, Friedman always came across as 
capitalism light, but I don't know. Some people swear by them, but I don't know if I have this book. Probably should have libibbed, libibbed the ISBN, but I did not. In this classic discussion about economics, freedom, and the relationship between the two, Milton and Rose Freedom. Rose Freedom. All right, there you go. Rose Freedom. That's all it took. Simplified Scientific Astrology. I'm going to make a separate post on this book. Because most likely you've never paid attention to my book, Collecting or my other videos, I don't care. I don't need you to. I'm mostly doing it for myself. And goth chicks. Simplified scientific astrology. I don't know if this is an original. I've seen that there is has been a reprint of this book by Max Heindel from the Rosicrucian. Is that how you say it? Rosicrucian? Rosicrucian Fellowship. This was originally printed in 1928. Oh, copyright by Mrs. Max Heindel. So he may have been dead at that point. This may be the, the reproduction, which would explain why it's in such great shape for a book from 1928. My guess is that this is the 1977 edition because this thing's in fucking great shape. But if it is, they did a great facsimile of it. I wonder if it had a dust jacket, but then why would you put all these old ads in there? I guess they kind of just, they probably reproduced these two. Airy signs, angles, affiliate. So yeah, that's a strange find. Did not expect that. Cannibal serial killers, profiles of depraved flesh-eating murderers. Christopher Barry D. with Victoria Redstall. Albert Fish, Jeffrey Dahmer, Andre Catillo, Fritz Harmon, Stanley Baker, Joachim Kroll, who cooked a stew of carrots, potatoes in a small child's hand. Okay. Fritz Harmon, who drank his victim's blood and sold their flesh on the black market. Stanley Baker cut out a young man's heart and devoured it while he while it was still beating. Albert Fish, who spent nine days feasting on the remains of an innocent little girl. Dahmer, whose refrigerator was packed with the body parts of his 17 victims. Andre Chakotolo, who brutally slayed and dismembered 53 in southeastern Russia. Freemasons Inside the World's Oldest Secret Society, H. Paul Jeffers. Freemasons have been accused of everything from conducting clandestine satanic rituals to masterminding a worldwide conspiracy for planetary domination. The Order's members, who have included Sir Isaac Newton, John Wayne, Bill Gates, some of the America's most popular entertainers and 25 U.S. presidents, insist they merely share a bond of brothers. Yeah. Don't believe them. Next two books are Barnes & Noble. I believe this is Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble reprints. I really like these. These reprint books. I once saw a bunch of the Edgar Allan Poe ones and for five bucks, and I just said, no, I don't need these, but now I do need them. Little Women, not so much. I don't really need Little Women, but it's a nice binding. Immaculate shape. The best of us have a spice of perversity in us, especially when we are young and in love. Do we now? The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Racist bastard. Isn't he considered racist now? Well, I mean, he said the N-word every five seconds, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Never liked Twain. Didn't interest me. The interest me. Interest me. What year is this? Twenty eleven. 
Persons attempting to find a motive in this narrative will be prosecuted. Persons attempting to find a moral in it will be banished. Persons attempting to find a plot in it will be shot. I'm pretty sure you all know who Mark Twain is. Yeah, these are nice books. I could find it's lovely to live on a raft. I can imagine it is not. The other Irish, the Scots Irish Rascals Who Made America by Karen F. McCarthy. Are you Irish? What's this? LaDonna Davis, Garden City, My Chicken. Sinn Féin, Ourselves Alone. You shouldn't have read that. Crockett's and the Chickamauga. The Beggar's Summon. 2011. The Audrey. Lee Adrian Go Gibraltar. That bullshit. Look at Karen. Karen's trying to look way too seductive. Rebellious, independent, fervently religious. Animal Planets, Finding Bigfoot, Everything You Need to Know. Introduction by Cliff Barrickman. Martha Brockenbrow. Here is this. 2013, Famous Bigfoot Hunters, Ready, Set, Squatch. Obviously, this is just a make-money tidbit. Anecdotal. What's this? Is this scat or is this meat? Oh, that's the tracks that made into plaster. I'm not sure that there are many Bigfoot books out there that track sightings. I do believe in Bigfoot. Don't believe he's a multi-dimensional being. I just believe he's a big old ape. There he is. See, there's proof. Two of them. Chaka Zulu, buddy. Or is it Shaka Zulu? All right, that's it. I mean, you get the idea.